Hi there, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, a global leader in regenerative therapies. Today, I want to answer a question that we get from time to time, and that's about what's called engraftment. And what that means is if you get a stem cell therapy, say with umbilical cord stem cells, does any of those, that DNA become part of you? Do you undergo chimerism, which is where you would have your own DNA, but also DNA from somebody else, right? Um, the answer is no. We have no evidence that that happens, that engraftment occurs with the types of stem cell therapies that we offer and that most others offer around the world. So why is that? Well, there's a lot about stem cell therapy we don't understand. But the question then becomes, how do stem cells work in the body? right? If the DNA from those stem cells is not becoming part of your DNA, then what is exactly happening? Well, a lot of patients think that when they get a stem cell therapy, say from umbilical cord, um, that those are the stem cells that are going to become part of your, it's going to turn into one of your cartilage cells or kidney cells or what have you. We don't have any evidence that that's what happens. All right. So that's a misconception about stem cell therapy is that those cells are going to become part of, of you. It's the reaction that those spark up with new blood flow, new cellular proliferation, um, telling, uh, providing the information to your cells that they need to reprogram and regenerate and rejuvenate themselves. So there's at least six or seven ways that we know that stem cells work in one's uh, body. But none of that involves those cells becoming part of your DNA and potentially causing you to have, you know, two sets of DNA. There is a caveat to that. If you undergo what's called myeloablation, which is basically pre-treatment, uh, let's say if you had cancer to knock out your immune system, myeloablation, then when you get the umbilical cord uh, blood, um, or a bone marrow transplant, yes, you will have some of the DNA from that donor as part and parcel of your permanent existence, okay? So if myeloablation is undertaken beforehand, then that will happen. You will become a chimer, uh, which means you have two sets of, of DNA, okay? One set is going to be like this large, and the other is going to be like, like this, but that is... Um, how it works. All right. So there you go. Visit us online today at r3stemcell.com. There's a lot of educational information on our website. Uh, you see a link to our YouTube channel, which has tons of educational videos and success stories. And then uh, contact us to set up your consultation. It can be virtual at 844-GET-STEM. Use the U.S. prefix. Be happy to help you. Thank you very much.